Hey guys, Ginger here. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm bringing you guys my top five spring reads. So I'm starting this new series because I've been involved in a Goodreads group which is called Top 5 Wednesday and I have not done videos for it in a very long time or blog posts or anything but I am still interested in it and I just refound it so I'm going to start doing top five Wednesdays until I get bored with it or until I don't have time or whatever. The first topic that is in the group for this Wednesday is your top five spring reads so that's what I'm going to bring you guys right now and I hope that you guys will pick them up this spring because they're all really really great reads and that's why they're on this list. It took me a little bit to figure out what books I wanted on here because I have so many and finding five that worked for spring specifically was difficult but I, f I did get to do it. So the first book I have here is a spring summer book. I read it in the summer but I would definitely say that you could read this in the spring and enjoy it thoroughly and that is The Ice Queen by Alice Hoffman. I picked this up at a thrift store and I kind of just picked it up on a whim. I didn't hear know much about it but once I read it, it is a five star read and oh my goodness you guys should pick it up. It is very short and Alice Hoffman has wonderful beautiful writing style and I believe uh, she has a book that I'll put up here because I can't remember the title that is very popular right now and so if you've heard of her then this is one of her other books. This is about a woman who is pretty quiet. She keeps to herself. She's not very social and she it's kind of just about her dealing with things that happen in her life. She's struck by lightning and she has to be re rehabilitated and deal with that fact and she finds this person that intrigues her and she becomes their friend and it's just kind of about her finding herself and finding um just it's just it's so hard to explain this book I did not know about it when I went into it and I recommend you guys going into it the same just know it is about a woman who is very quiet and keeps to herself and it's kind of just her finding herself finally in her older years and it was just so beautiful so well written so meaningful and uh it, I mean, this butterfly, doesn't that make you think of spring? It makes me think of spring. And like I said, this is only about 200 pages, so you can get through it very quickly. The next book I have here is probably one you've heard of on booktube, and that is The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ada Lavender. This is a very mystical and whimsical read, and this is about our main character, Ava Lavender, who is born with wings, and about her journey through life from birth and up to her teens or whenever this book ends and about her mother and her grandmother and kind of just her um, their life up until this point and I think that this is just a great magical realism book and it definitely gives you very uh, springy vibes with like life and new life and hope and just you know being yourself and so I would definitely recommend reading this in, in the springtime and this is just a very good book that you know even if you don't read it in the spring you should give it a try in your life because it is very magical and wonderful and I think I gave this one four and a half stars so yeah really great. The next book I have here is also one you probably haven't heard of but uh it is so beautiful and it is a five out of five stars for me and that is The Language of Flowers by Vanessa Diffenbaugh. Again this was a thrift store find and I thought this cover was gorgeous and the idea of the book was cool. Um, this is about a young girl who uh, kind of similar to the Ice Queen she's very quiet she's very you know she's not used to other people and she was an orphan and it's kind of just about her growing up and learning to love and to accept life the way it is and she she copes a lot with life through working at a flower shop and learning the meanings of every flower and so there's a lot of uh, meanings of different flowers and like helping people and helping herself through here using those uh, the language of flowers and this is just a beautiful beautiful book and if you have not read this I definitely recommend you pick it up because it will make you feel so so good and also sad and just so many great emotions and this was one that I did ha didn't have any idea what it was about and it ended up being one of my favorite books of all time so 
The fourth book I have here is another one that you've probably all heard of and that is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This just, when I look at this cover I just think spring. I think happiness and bright colors and Easter time and all that fun stuff even though I have no idea if it even takes place in spring but it just makes me feel bubbly and like springtime so that's why I would recommend reading this in spring and if you didn't already know this about our main character Laura Jean who has written letters to the boys that she's loved in her past and one day those letters mysteriously get sent out to all these boys and she has to deal with the repercussions of that so I would definitely pick this up if you haven't already because it is definitely worth the read and it is a great feel-good book for springtime. And then the last, the fifth book on this list is again one of my all-time favorites and it just also makes me think of springtime and it's just a book that if you haven't read you need to read in your lifetime and I, I mean this more than all the other books I just mentioned. You need to read this in your lifetime. It is a classic. And that is Watership Down by Richard Adams. <sighs> this book has made such an impact on my life and it is about our main characters Fiverr and Hazel who are rabbits and Fiverr has kind of like a sixth sense so he knows when things are going to go bad he can kind of predict the future and this is about them leaving their warren and finding a new life for themselves with a bunch of other rabbits and facing lots of difficult times and learning about themselves and it's just a, a great journey and I am a sucker for animal books, so when I read this a couple years ago, I fell in love with it. And then I've recently also watched the Netflix adaptation miniseries, which was, which just re-sparked my love, and I want to give this a reread at some time. And I actually have the second book in this little world over on my shelf, and I need to read it, so I might actually read that this spring. But if you have not read Watership Down, you definitely should. And come on, little rabbits, springtime it kind of fits right Easter so those are all the books or those are the five books that I would recommend you read this spring because they are all just the epitome of springtime in my opinion <laughs> and it, even if you don't read them for spring they're all books that you should definitely put on your TBR if they interest you because they are very good and I rated them all four or five stars so if that's not enough for you to want to read them then go look up the reviews yourself because they definitely are worth it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you liked this new type of video and I look forward to doing more top five Wednesdays in the future. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you liked it and want to see more content. And until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Hi friends, Ginger here. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, how are ya? Today I'm bringing you guys my January review.